Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're going to take a look at two new free features for Screencastify, interactive questions for video quizzes, and viewer analytics. And a big thanks to Screencastify for sponsoring this video. There are lots of screen recording tools available, but one of my favorites has always been Screencastify. It is super easy to use with options to record your screen or your webcam or both, as well as annotate on your screen, edit the recording afterwards, and share the final video in many ways. As useful as Screencastify has always been, it is now even better with two new free features, interactive questions and viewer analytics. The interactive questions feature makes it easy to add multiple choice questions to your video so you can assess student understanding while they watch your videos. And the viewer analytics feature allows you to see who has viewed your videos and how many times so you can get a better measure of student engagement. In this video, we'll take a quick look at how these new features work. First off, if you do not have the Screencastify extension installed yet, you will need to do that through the Chrome Web Store. A link to install the extension can be found at Screencastify.com. One quick note to be aware of during the setup process, Screencastify will ask you what your role is. To be able to use the new interactive questions feature and video analytics, you will need to identify yourself as either a teacher or a K-12 administrator. If you've already set up Screencastify and you need to go back and change your role, you can always get back to these settings by going to app, dot screencastify dot com slash survey. Once we have the Screencastify extension installed, we can start recording. First, we'll open the content that we wish to record, such as a website or presentation or document or such. Next, we'll click on the Screencastify extension up in the top right corner of our Chrome browser. From the drop-down menu, we can choose if we want to record our browser tab, the entire desktop, or just our webcam. We can also make other choices such as which microphone to use, whether we want to embed our webcam, and if we want to turn on the drawing tools. When we're ready, we can just click the record button to start. Now Screencastify will record what is on our screen, as well as our webcam and our voice. While recording, we can use the drawing tools to annotate or draw shapes or add stickers or even highlight our mouse. When we're done, we can click the Screencastify extension again and choose the Stop button, or we can click the Stop button down in the Drawing Toolbar. Once we're done recording, we'll be now taken to the new Video Management page, where we'll see the new updates to Screencastify. We can still do all the same things as before, including renaming the video, or trimming the beginning and end, or opening up the video into the advanced editor, as well as, of course, downloading the video, or sharing it from our Google Drive, or sharing it through other methods. What is new are the two options in the top right corner, including the new watch page link and the interactive questions tool. Let's begin by talking about the new watch page. Although you can still share the video in all of the old ways, you now have a new option to share your video through the new Screencastify watch page. The watch page has helpful viewing features for your students and also collects viewer analytics so you can see how your students are engaging with your content. To use the new watch page, we first need to set the viewing permissions for our video. To do that, we'll click on the private option in the top right hand corner of the screen. This will open the video watch page settings window. Here you can choose who can access this video by choosing either 
anyone in my organization, or anyone with the link. Next, you can select how do you want to track the views. If you choose anonymously, then there will be no sign-in required for someone to view your video. Screencastify will simply keep track of the number of views, but not who the people are. If you choose by nickname, then the viewers will be required to type in their name to watch the video. Screencastify will track the views by the names entered, but of course keep in mind that people can type in any name they wish. The third option is to choose by email address, in which viewers are required to sign in with a Google account to watch the video. This is the most accurate way to track who is watching the video, but does require that the viewers have Google accounts. When done, we'll click Save. You can now click the button for Copy Watch Page Link to get a copy of the link. This is the link that you will give to your students or whoever is watching the video. Alternatively, you can just click the Copy Watch Page link without setting the permissions and it will default to anyone with this link and tracking viewers anonymously. This link to the new watch page is also used when you go to the Share menu and you choose the options to send in an email or generate a QR code or share to classroom. In all of these cases, the viewers will be taken to the new watch page instead of the Google Drive link as in the past. Let's see what the watch page looks like from the student's point of view. When your students use the link, they will be taken to the new Screencastify watch page where they can watch your video. In the bottom right hand corner, there are controls to switch into full screen viewing, as well as clicking the three dots where you can adjust the playback speed, as well as pop out the video into its own picture in picture window. The picture in picture option can be very helpful so that your students can watch your video while they are working on their assignment. Now let's talk about the viewer analytics. As your students watch your video on the new watch page, Screencastify will keep track of their views. You can see the video analytics for your video by clicking on the Viewers button at the top of the video management page. Note, you may need to refresh the page to see the most recent statistics for your video. This will open a window where you can see who has watched the video, when they watched it, and how many times. Note, you can always get back to this page in the future by clicking on the Screencastify extension, and then clicking on the Menu button in the top left, and then choosing My Recordings from the menu. Now you can find your recording, give it a click, and get right back to the same screen. The other big update to Screencastify is the option to add questions to a video. As the students watch the video, these questions will pop up for them to answer. The results will be collected for you so you can evaluate the students' engagement as well as their understanding of the content. To add questions to your video, begin by clicking the Interactive Questions button in the top right-hand corner of the Share page. This will open the Interactive Questions screen. Here you can watch your video and then click on the Add Question button at the bottom when you get to a spot in the video where you want to add a question. This will open up a pop-up window where you can add the question and add the possible answers and select which answer is correct. When done, we can click Save to return to the video. We can continue adding questions to the video using the Add Question button. A gray circle marker will appear on the video timeline to indicate where each of your questions will appear. At any point, you can click on the List View button in the top right to be able to view all of your questions and edit any of them as needed. Now let's see what the quiz feature looks like from the student point of view. Now, when you give the students the link to the new watch page, the questions will pop up while the students are viewing the video. 
After the student selects the answer and submits it, Screencastify will let them know if they got it correct. Or if they chose the wrong answer, what the correct answer should have been. After your students have watched the video and answered the questions, you can view the results from your students by going back to the interactive questions page and clicking on the responses tab at the top. Here you will see a list of your students along with their grades, how they did on each question, and the percent correct from all the students for each question. These new updates for Screencastify are great for both teachers and students. For teachers, you'll now be able to track which students have watched your videos, as well as see who needs extra help and which topics may need additional instruction. For students, this breaks up the video for them into smaller bites and provides periodic self-checks throughout the video. Students also get the benefit of the helpful picture-in-picture -picture mode. And best of all, these new updates are free. These new features will be widely available in mid-September. To be notified of the launch, you can sign up with the link in this video's description. And that's how to use the new Interactive Questions tool for video quizzes and viewer analytics. Thanks again to Screencastify for sponsoring this video and for providing these awesome new features. For more videos and resources, be sure to check out all of my posts on my site at controlaltachieve.com.